All right, for today's lesson, we're gonna talk about the constant of proportionality. <clears throat> so the constant of proportionality is a constant ratio of one variable quantity to another, which it is proportional. So specifically, we are just looking at proportional relationships. And we are gonna look at the ratio of y to x, the change in y to the change in x. So I'm gonna use, when we are looking at it in a table, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That does not matter which x or y, it's just saying that we have an ordered pair that is, has an x and a y, and we have a second ordered pair that is an x and a y. So it's just saying, here we have our first ordered pair, and here we have a second ordered pair, and we just have to keep it in order this way, okay? So I can flip around which ordered pair I do first. It just means if I start with this Y, I have to start with that X, or if I start with this Y, I have to start with that X, okay? So let's look at how we find the constant of proportionality given a table. I just need to pick two points. I can pick any two points here. I could do 226, I could do 10, 130, I could do 678. I like to pick the smallest one. So I'm just gonna pick these two smallest ones and I'm gonna plug it into this formula. So I am doing, I'm gonna take my bigger Y, which is 39, minus my smaller Y of 26 over if I started with 39 for my y, I need to start with three for my x, minus my other x of two, okay? So something to note is when you have a table that's vertical like this, it goes in order, x, y. So x comes first, y comes second. So that's why I started here for my y's. Then I'm just gonna subtract. 39 minus 26 is 13. Three minus two is one. So our constant of proportionality is 13 over one. All right, number two, we have, um, I'm gonna pick any two points, so I'm just gonna pick these two right here, and same thing, X is on the left, Y is on the right. So I'm gonna start with my Y's, I'm gonna start with my bigger Y. So I'm gonna do 80 minus 40, over, since I started with 80 for my Y, I'm gonna start with 10 for my X, minus five. So 80 minus 40 is 40. 10 minus five is five. So I could say that I stopped here, but we're not going to, because we wanna simplify that. 40 and five divide by five to become, 40 divided by five is eight, Five divided by five is one. So our constant of proportionality is eight over one. And then another table here, we've got X on the left, Y on the right. I'm gonna start with my two lowest values and I'm gonna do my Y's first. I'm gonna start with the bigger Y, 135 minus 90 over since I started with 135 for Y, we're gonna start with three for X minus two. 135 minus 90 is 45 over three minus two is one. So our constant of proportionality is 45 over one. All right, so that was how you find it from a table. Let's look at finding it from a graph. So all that I'm looking at here is I'm gonna look at what we call the rise over the run, which matches up with still the change in Y over the change in X, because our rise is our Y axis, our run is our horizontal X axis. So I just need to pick two clear points. Doesn't matter which ones I pick. I'm just not gonna pick like a point right here in the middle of this line where I have no idea where that would fall. So I'm just picking two clear points. 
For example, maybe I pick these two points that are noted for me there. So I'm looking for the rise over the run. So I've got my rise here over the distance across here. So when I look at this, the rise, my instinct would be it goes up one, but I need to pay extra close attention to the axes and how much it goes up by. On the left side here, on the Y, it's going up by 10. So this rise from 10 to 20 is 10. When I look at this axis, it is just going up by one. So from one to two, going across here is one. So our rise was 10, our run was one. All right, number five. Same thing, I'm gonna pick clear points. They aren't noted on here like the other ones. So I'm just gonna see where things cross at a clear point. So maybe I pick these two points right here. So we've got our rise right here over our run right here. Again, paying close attention to our axes. From here, this is at zero. Going up to 15 is a rise of 15. And then this way, going from zero across is three. So it is 15 over three. This is not simplified though. These can both divide by three. 15 divided by three is five. 3 divided by 3 is 1. So the constant of proportionality is 5 over 1. And then last graph example here. I'm picking two clear points. Looks like it intersects here and looks like right here would be a clear point. Okay, So I'm looking again for my rise over my run. I'm paying close attention to my axes. So our vertical rise goes from zero to six, so that's a rise of six. Our horizontal rise goes from zero to one. So the constant of proportionality is six over one. So that was finding it given a graph. Last, our next example here is looking at it for equations, okay? So when we are looking at a constant of proportionality, we have an equation in the form y equals kx. So whatever is being multiplied, there's a number in place of the k, whatever is being multiplied by x is our constant of proportionality, okay? So in this scenario, the number being multiplied. It's not always going to be y and x. That's kind of the common place. But sometimes we just have word problems where we use different variables to represent y and x. So in this case, the c is representing our y, and then 129 is being multiplied by r, which is representing our x. So that constant of proportionality is 129. I'm going to write that as a fraction, 129 over 1 to show the relationship, 129 for the y value to every one for the x value. Okay, here it's flipped around, but our y is over here, our x is over here. So this is the same thing as saying y equals 53x. So for our constant of proportionality, we're looking at what is being multiplied by x, it's that 53. So it's 53, I'm gonna write it as 53 over one. This example is in the form that I showed you. We're looking at what is being multiplied by x. That's 2.3. I'm gonna write it as 2.3 over one, even though that looks kind of messy. And then constant of proportionality for each word problem. So Bob's Burger Barn has a special deal of four hamburgers for six dollars, okay? So, generally speaking, money is going to be our y value, okay? So if I'm writing this as a ratio, 
okay? It's $6 for four hamburgers, okay? And if I simplify that, six over four, I'm gonna simplify to three over two. Number 11, Kelly babysat five of her cousins over the weekend. She receives $85. So again, generally speaking, 85 has, is money. That's gonna be our Y value over the value of five. So we're gonna take 85 over five and we're simplifying that. 85 divided by five is 17 over five divided by five is one. So our constant of proportionality is 17 over one. Ken has a total of 336 jelly beans. He said he opened six bags of jelly beans. So our total amount is going to be our Y compared to the other value of six. So as my ratio, I'm doing my Y value of 36 over six. Those can both simplify by dividing by six. 336 divided by six is 56. Six divided by six is one. So our constant of proportionality is 56 over one. And then last problem, a student types 135 words in 45 seconds. So the 135 is a total amount, which generally is our Y value. And 45 seconds is going to be our X. So we're doing 135 over 45. And let's see if we can simplify. I think these might both simplify by 45. So I'm gonna try that. If not, we could divide by five. So 135 divided by 45 does divide, that gives me three, and 45 divided by five, 45 is one. So our constant of proportionality is three over one. So something I want you to keep in mind for word problems, the things that are gonna tell us our Y or our dependent variable generally are gonna be things that talk about a total or things that talk about money. Those that are gonna tell us our X or our independent time. So if you ever see something like hours, seconds, minutes, years, etc., that's gonna clue you into the X. And you need to remember, it's the change in Y over the change in X, so the ratio of Y over X.